Saint Cyril of Jerusalem was a theologian of the early church. About the end of 350 AD, he succeeded Maximus as bishop of Jerusalem, but was exiled on more than one occasion due to the enmity of Acacius of Caesarea and the policies of various emperors. Cyril left essential writings documenting the instruction of catechumens and the order of the liturgy in his day. Cyril's writings are filled with references to God's loving and forgiving nature which was somewhat rare during his time period. St. Cyril fills his writings with great lines of the healing power of forgiveness and the Holy Spirit, saying, The Spirit comes gently and makes himself known by his fragrance. He is not felt as a burden for God is light, very light. Rays of light and knowledge stream before him as the Spirit approaches. The Spirit comes with the tenderness of a true friend to save, to heal, to teach, to counsel, to strengthen, and to console. Many times, throughout his life, Cyril himself followed God's message of forgiveness. This is most evident in his two major exiles where Cyril was disgraced and forced to leave his position and his people behind. He never wrote or showed any resentment towards those who wronged him. St. Cyril emphasized the themes of healing and regeneration in his catechesis. He is venerated as a saint within the Roman Catholic Church and in 1883, Pope Leo XIII declared him a doctor of the church. Here is St. Cyril of Jerusalem, prophetic warnings for the Antichrist, Catholic Church, and faith. Antichrist will exceed in malice, perversity, lust, wickedness, impiety, and heartless cruelty and barbarity all men that have ever disgraced human nature. Hence St. Paul emphatically calls him the man of sin, the son of perdition, the wicked one, whose birth and coming is through the operation of Satan and all manner of seduction and iniquity. 2 Thessalonians 2 Through his great power, deceit and malice he shall succeed in decoying or forcing to his worship two-thirds of mankind. The remaining third part of men will continue true to the faith and worship of Jesus Christ most steadfastly. But in his satanic rage and fury, Antichrist will persecute these brave and devout Christians during three years and a half, and torture them with such an extremity of barbarity, with all the old and newly invented instruments of pain, as to exceed all past persecutors of the church combined. He will oblige all his followers to bear impressed upon their foreheads or right hands the mark of the beast, and will starve to death all those who refuse to receive it. Are we living in these times of the Antichrist? Tell us what you think and share your comments below. God needs our prayers more than ever. Keep watching for Catholic news, prophecies, prayers, and much more coming up, and on the warnings of our time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and press the notifications button to get updates. Show your support in helping us to continue. Ways you can support are in description below. All glory to God. Amen.